All right, welcome to the page. Love you, each and every one of you. This is going to be more teachings today. It's about time to go ahead and cover this because I have some other videos anyway that will kind of go along with this that I will do in the future, Lord willing. First, I want to address the men uh, before I go on with this is that you first is that stop going up to every woman that you see preaching and teaching and just flat out telling them to stop preaching and teaching okay you need to consider all the scriptures in the bible you do not ever take one scripture and make a whole doctrine out of it there are other scriptures there for a reason that are actually talking about the same thing okay it is not about your church and a little sect that you are in that is not ever above god's word okay so next Eve, as it talks about in the book of Genesis, that she said from her own mouth that she was be deceived, beguiled. All right. It clearly says that. Now we know from previously before that happened that God made the woman. So God made the man as well. So Satan took advantage of God's creation of how he was made the woman. And he took advantage of the serpent, not just the woman, but this serpent as well to carry out this plan of deceiving the woman. OK, so that's actually what happened. So this is not about just flat out just Adam and Eve and stopping there. This is how every woman and every man was made. And Satan takes advantage of that. OK, that's how it happened. So this applies to every woman still today. This is where Paul got this from. All right. So does Let's answer this for you women really quick in case you're the one. Does Paul hate women? No, he does not hate women. He stood up for widows that would become a certain age that they should be taken care of by the church. OK, but there has to be an order in the body of Christ, just like there's an order when you go to work or within the family. Same thing. It has to be. OK, so stop letting the devil deceive you and mess with your head like he was doing with Eve and telling you lies. OK, so first Timothy two twelve. We're going to go there and talk about this. OK, it says, but I suffer not a woman to teach nor to usurp authority over the man, but to be in silence. Now, right there, looking at it, a lot of people, they would think immediately is trying to tell you that no women can't teach altogether. No, they're supposed to be silent. That's crazy. First off. OK, when you consider the other scriptures, um, it said that they should not usurp authority over the man. OK, that's what it was talking about in those terms. Now, if you go down to chapter three in context, Paul begins to talk about the bishop. A bishop is an overseer. OK, and a pastor, they cannot be one either because that would be taking authority over the man in the spiritual body of Christ. OK, because a pastor means to be a shepherd. That does not mean that they cannot teach as we will go over the next scripture that clearly tells us in Titus. That's the next book. OK, Titus chapter two, verse three. OK, and four. Now there it clearly tells us it says teachers of good things. Who is it talking about? It's talking about aged women, women. It said teachers of good things. Paul said that and that they may teach the young women to be sober, to love their husbands, to love their children. Also, if anybody has ever read Luke, they can clearly see that Mary by the Holy Spirit says some things and can teach you some things. So if any man's ever read that, we don't reject those scriptures because it came from a mouth of a woman. We accept them because it came from the Holy Ghost. OK, so the only thing that the scriptures were telling us is that women are not to take the position, the position in the body of Christ over a man, period. OK, they're not. And also within a relationship that the man is to be the head because they, by how God made them, can be deceived. And women, this shouldn't be something that you allow the devil to deceive you further and mess with your head and stop paying so much close attention to every word that you start letting it get to you. OK, so that is how God has made you. Don't let it become a stumbling block. All right. And men stop being stupid and trying to tell women that they can't teach at all or that they have to be quiet. OK, so they just cannot be pastors and usurp authority over men in the body of Christ. The man is the head.